and Islam is the only religion that logically explain who the creator of this universe is. You know, Allah is, we know of Him, He's the creator of the heavens and the earth, space, time and matter. He is the one that created everything you see and everything you don't see. He's nothing like His creation. He says the only way to understand Him a little bit is by studying His creation, seeing His sign, discovering how He created like everything in His creation and the beauty of it. Assalamualaikum everybody. Today I'm in a mosque and I have a special guest again. Her name is Gibson Munir. He just converted to Islam a few years ago and he wants to share the story uh, why he converted to Islam. Okay, now I want to interview him. Assalamualaikum brother uh, Gibson. Today I'm so happy to meet you in a masjid because they have Salam. special event in today. And I met the sister Ziva and they said that I have a special guest today and they just come for to Islam. Okay, Brother Gibson, can you tell me what your story and why you want to come for to Islam? So I converted to Islam in 2018. Um, I was, came from a faithful family. You know, they always taught me to believe in God, to respect his creation and to always take responsibility and once I got older you know I always kept this I would always pray I always had a strong faith in God when I got into high school into middle school and, and, and to high school I started meeting many different cultures and many different beliefs and people would ask me oh what um what are your beliefs so I would tell them like oh I believe in a God I, I do this and I was raised Catholic but people will question me, okay, you believe this, these things, but that's not what Catholics believe. They also believe in the Trinity and that Jesus God died for your sins and these kinds of beliefs. I was like, well, I don't really believe that, you know? So I started going, I was like, what do Catholics really believe? So I went to my pastors and I would ask them questions. What what, what do we believe as so Catholics? And they told me, yes, we believe in the Trinity, we believe in the in, in that Jesus died for your, for your sins and many other things. And I would study the history and everything. And a lot of it didn't make sense to me. Just my, my heart at a young age, I was just like, that's, that's not what I believe. I don't believe. That just doesn't feel right. How can God be human? And why does he have to die for my sins? Like, it, it just never, it didn't make sense. So at a very young age, around like 12, 13 years old, 12 years old, I left Catholicism. But I always had faith and I always stayed believing in one God. But I didn't have a religion. I was like agnostic. You know, and from there I started researching many different religions like Buddhism, Sikhism, indigenous tribes in Colombia, and uh, Hinduism, um, Judaism, Christianity, the different denominations of Christianity, the differences and everything, the history of it, the beliefs. And again, I would take the good from each religion, but I'll leave the bad because I would think about it logically. If this God, I knew there was a God, there was a creator of everything. If things exist, then there must be a creator that is more powerful than the creation I think about all these things logically and I came to the conclusion if there's a, this creator that created everything if there's a book that is from him he is not going to contradict himself he's not going to contradict science or the, 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 the true the actual laws of nature the actual history of humanity and of different things he will not contradict himself theology or anything because he is the all knowledgeable he's the creator of everything why would he contradict himself so I went through all these different religions and all these religions had different contradictions of who is God or, or, or even historical contradictions or contradictions among themselves. Then I'll take the good and leave the bad, but I didn't, I never converted to any of these religions. When I was young, I, and I had some Muslims as neighbors, 
neighbors, and they they will teach me about Islam a little a little bit here, a little bit there throughout the years. Every time they'll tell me, I was like, oh, that makes sense. And I'll look up into it. I'll look. I'll I'll look into it. I'll see. The, I'll do my research, and it always made sense historically, theologically. Some things I, I it, it, some things I didn't believe right away because I just it didn't it didn't make sense to me. But once I started studying more and seeking knowledge and discovering more about just God's creation and, and and Islam and everything, I started accepting it more and more. So at the end, Islam is the only religion that logically explain who the creator of this universe is. You know, Allah is. We know of him, he's the creator of the heavens and the earth, space, time and matter. He is the one that created everything you see and everything you don't see. He's nothing like his creation. He says the only way to understand him a little bit is by studying his creation, seeing his sign, discovering how he created like everything in his creation and the beauty of it. You know, so and then we only know of him what what he said about himself, nothing more, nothing less. You know, but it's it's there and it's truthful and then also Islam explains everything from how to run how to use the bathroom to how to run a country you know through the prophets through the righteous people in, in our in our beautiful religion and, and history it teaches us everything how to act how to believe how to the intentions we should have you know and the knowledge and how to seek that knowledge so once a Muslim has a, a Muslim that follows Islam Islam is our way of life it's, it, it will guide you, it will heal you, and it will empower you. No, I mean, uh, Islam, Islam is beautiful. You know, it teaches you, it teaches you, you know, it, it, again, it teaches you following Islam correctly. It will heal, empower, and guide all of His creation. And Islam, it guides us to seek knowledge and apply this knowledge in our action and our belief and our intention for the, the purpose of worshiping God, serving His creation, and also, on top of everything, seeking the pleasure of Allah. That the only thing that matters is that Allah is pleased with us at every situation. So how we sit, how we stand, how we eat. You know, it's not just something I worship. You know, it's something I have a direct connection with my, the creator of everything you see. It all cor correlates. And then it, it debunks and it Islam destroys all the other philosophies. I tell the philosophers, what is the best philosophy? That was the only philosophy and the best philosophy that doesn't contradict itself and it doesn't contradict any other science. That is Islam. The best philosophers were the prophets. What is a philosophy? It's pretty much at the end of the day, it's a way of life. What people follow, our way of life is Islam and our way of life comes from the Creator. Where other people's philosophies come from humans. Maybe there's good things in those philosophies. But are they perfect? No, because they were created from something that is not perfect. That's something that's contingent, that doesn't understand everything like a human. You know, so Islam explains all of this and much more and the journey in Islam is so much more beautiful. But that's just like a short version of it. Wow, you so many learn about the Islam so much. What about your life right now? What, uh, are you married? No, no. Inshallah, soon. When? Are you thinking married with an Islam woman or with a different religion? After that, they can come for this religion. Yes, I mean, uh, the goal is, uh, again, to have a, a wife, uh, to, 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 to be a husband, for me first, to be a husband that has the correct intention and action and belief what, what, uh, for, for marriage and finding someone with those same intentions and actions and maybe you know if, if they're muslim that'd be great you know because because islam teaches these things but if you find someone with an amazing heart that is willing to to learn and has the intention and, and, and the open and has an open mind to to seek seek this knowledge and grow as a person then why not from another religion but the the the, the, the ideally yeah someone from the community you know Oh, it's nice. So what about your Salat and um, what you did is about the Salat? Are you doing uh, Salat five times? Yes, or? yes. Oh, five really? times, the Sunnahs. Because remember, I try to, I seek knowledge. I have teachers that educate me, my, my teachers, my scholars. And I try to, in every situation, how can I get Allah's pleasure even more? How, what would Allah be pleased with? So Allah will be pleased with me doing my five prayers. He will also be pleased with me doing the sunnahs because Allah, who, who did Allah love most in this world, in His creation? What is what is the thing that Allah, who who did Allah love more than anything? The Prophet So for for to for me to gain Allah's love, I need to follow the one who Allah loved the most, and that's the Prophet So the Prophet would pray all his prayers, he would do everything, and he would also do his sunnahs. 
you know, the fasting Monday and Thursday, the archery, the wrestling, the smiling, being being in the community, all these sunnahs I try to implement. I mean, none of us are perfect. You know, the best of us are the ones who ask for forgiveness. But we all try and yes, I do my prayers and I do my sunnahs and I try my best. Oh, it's so really good. I'm so happy so that you learned so much about Islam, what you want to do for your life. I hope you can go more better and better when you bring the learn about Islam. Alhamdulillah, yes. Uh -huh. It brings peace to your heart. Bring peace to your heart <laughs> yes, after you learn. After, especially after we would do and yes. our places wet and something like that. We showered almost like a five times. Alhamdulillah, yes, yes, yes. It's so beautiful. Thank okay, thank you so much, brother. Thank you, you, thank you, thank you for the opportunity. The story, the same story. Why are you going for this now? Assalamualaikum. I've been hurting, cause I've been falling. I need your help. My heart is breaking, so tired of crying. Lord, I'm calling. I need your help I don't wanna fight no more I don't wanna fight this war Oh na na, oh na na 